and welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to be sharing some pieces that I have bought over the past month now before we get stuck into this video I should really warn you that there is no color whatsoever it is all neutral so if you clicked on this video expecting to see some color there is absolutely nothing I have just been focusing on building a really staple wardrobe and only buying pieces that I know I can wear on rotation and make lots of outfits out of I don't really buy into trends and I don't believe in impulse buying and just buying things for the sake of it. I want to get my money's worth and I want to get as much wear out of it as possible so everything in this video is quite simple, quite laid back pieces um, but definitely pieces that you could wear a lot. So without me blabbering on and on let's get stuck into the video. The first top I have is this knitted top from Zara. I am so glad that it is finally the season where we can wear slightly more knitted tops. And I have this one in a small, it fits really well. I just thought it would be a perfect top to kind of pair with anything like jeans or trousers. I'm really loving neutral tones right now, which brings me on to the second top, which is this snakeskin print. It's a little bit bolder than I'm used to with my pieces, but the tones of this just make it a little bit more wearable for me. And I am a massive fan of snakeskin print. I know it's not for everyone. It's kind of like a marmite top but for me it's just a nice way of being bold so it's in a size small and it actually falls to around there but I think it looks a lot more flattering tucked in so I tend to always tuck in my blouses but it's just a really nice good quality top this top I picked up from H&M I absolutely love it it has super poofy everything the whole top is really oversized I love the sleeves I love the pleat detail and I love that it has a high neck it has a really nice neutral stripe print going through it I have this in a small and I just figured it would be a really cool way to switch up from my usual simple blouse it's finally the season for knitted tops. I'm so glad we're going through this transition right now. I'm really going to be stocking up on these. This one is from And Other Stories. It's just a perfect tee and jeans top, but it just has a little something extra to it because it's knitted. Everything I buy from And Other Stories is always really good quality and lasts me a really long time. But this top has already caught, which I'm super gutted about. But And Other Stories still do really great quality pieces. The next piece I have from And Other Stories is this cardigan so I actually bought this during the heat wave and people looked at me like I was crazy but it paid off it's so cozy I love pairing it with absolutely everything whether it's a dress jeans trousers I love throwing it on and it's just so snug I have it in a small because it's already pretty oversized so this just fits really perfectly this summer introduced me to a lot of dresses and I picked this one up in Topshop. It's really ditzy and cute and definitely different to what I would normally go for. I'm not much of a floral person but it's really nice and subtle. I love the frill detail, I love the buttons going down it and it's just a different take on a slip dress. Definitely a little bit more casual compared to my usual silky slip dresses. And I have this in A6 and it's a little bit big, so it doesn't run exactly to size, but it still fits quite nice and flowy. Moving on to probably the comfiest pair of trousers I now own. So I picked this one up in Mango. Guys, they were so, so comfortable. They were very tailored, but they were a little bit on the looser side. They were a bit of a jogger fit, I would say, but they just feel super relaxed, super chill. And I've been pretty much pairing it with a whole lot of stuff. And it is kind of on the oversized side, but it still looks really nice, especially when you pair it with something a little bit more feminine at the top but they are just a really classic go-to pair of trousers. I've been stocking up on jeans quite a lot recently because I wear them so often and my favourite place to buy jeans from is Topshop. Recently I've really been loving these straight leg jeans. I think they're such a lovely fit, not too tight and not too loose. I buy my jeans in a length 30 so it's just a nice cropped fit just sits really nicely above the ankle so you have a little bit of a gap between your shoe and it always looks nice with a pair of boots when you have a little crop there. I own a bunch of black trousers but this one really stood out to me it's from Zara what I love about it is the pleat detail at the top it's super high-waisted it's just a little bit of a different take on a classic piece whenever something I tend to wear a lot has a little bit something unique to it 
I fall for it immediately. It has been so hot this summer that I had to buy sandals and I decided to treat myself to a pair of Gucci sandals. They're so comfy, I have walked around in these all day and they don't hurt my feet at all. Finally, it's not really been jacket season but I still purchased this trench coat from Mango. I just knew that in the long run I will get some wear out of it and it's just super nice, super flowy. I bought it in a eight, so it's just a nice loose fit and I can wear jumpers underneath it. Okay, and that is everything I picked up this month. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.